Okay, we're going to go a little bit of behind the scenes on eBay to talk about how returning or refunding a sale goes within the eBay system. So if you're the seller, and this is one of, you know, if I had two or three different refund requests uh, happen, and so it just triggered me to want to make this, to give everybody an idea of how this works. So generally when you sell an item, um, I don't allow refunds or returns. So they have to decide within three days, even though I don't offer refunds, they still have three days to review the item, make sure that it complies with the description and everything else. So if it matches the description or if it doesn't match the description, they can still return it even if the seller doesn't accept returns. So that's what happened in this most recent case. But when the buyer requests a return, they have that three days and then it sends it to eBay. They start the process. eBay sends it to the seller saying, hey, you have a buyer that is looking to get a return. Uh, that buyer then, or that seller rather than now has an option. You have different options. You can uh, accept the return, at which case you would then either buy a e label on eBay and send it to them or upload your own label and send it to them so that they could ship the item back to you and then get the refund. You can immediately just give a full refund to them. You can give a partial refund to them. Usually those are in the cases where shipping it back to the seller doesn't make sense because it's a cheap item or the item's destroyed. Or you can dispute the transaction and send it to eBay for having them make a decision. Usually they side with the buyer historically, unless the seller has a really good experience you know, uh, story or description or things that he can show to where he's right. But most of the time they're going to side with the buyer on any kind of dispute like that. So in this most recent case, I requested, and like I said, I've only had three total, I believe, uh, returns requested. This one was a $1 card and it was $1 for shipping, total of $2 on the transaction. You know, generally not worth it to get the return back, but it just rubbed me the wrong way when it came through. When I sold the card, it was not too long after Chris Carson got injured, um, and he was then placed on IR, underwent surgery, was not gonna be back for you know six months or whatever. So the timing just kind of seemed weird. The pictures showed some of the issues that, that he was pointing out, but not all of them. And I just thought it was a little ticky tack to request a return on a $1 card, but it is what it is. That's part of the deal selling on eBay. You're going to get those. But at the same time, I just didn't want to give him his money back. Plus he gets to keep the card. So despite the, you know, what would make sense as far as financially goes, I uh, accepted the return and bought a label. Uh, so it's going to cost me 79 or 73 cents. I, I believe is what it cost for the uh, eBay standard envelope for shipping back to me. Like I said, it's a $1 card and it's, you, know, you could argue that it's not worth that. It's a second year card for Chris Carson. I've had it up on eBay for quite a while now and didn't think it was ever going to sell. So when it did, I was pretty excited. I uh, really hated to see that this guy kicks back. So anyway, just didn't want, kind of wanted to make an example just because he didn't reach out and message me or say anything or do anything because otherwise I probably would have just full refunded him or at least partial refunded him if he wanted to keep the card or something. But, you know, no communication from him, just straight email from eBay saying, hey, he's returning the item. And I said, fine, you want to return it? Return it. Here's here's a label to send it back to me. So it's in route back to me, and uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with it then. Either give it away or put it back on eBay. I don't know. Uh, I hate putting it back on eBay just because it has those print lines. Uh, from what he said, I don't want to go through this again. So I may just uh, do it as a giveaway on either this or Twitter or Instagram or something like that. Like I said, second year card. So if there's a Seahawks fan out there or a Chris Carson fan that really wants this card, hit me up and um, I may uh, do a giveaway or something like that. So anyway, 
Just wanted to go through the eBay process on the seller side when a buyer requests a refund or return of an item. That's how it works. On these small items, a lot of times the sellers will just uh, will just issue full refund. I, you know, <laughs> I accepted the return and bought the label last night because I was being a little petty, but such is life. Um, anyway, that's all I have for today. So if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, and uh, let me know what else you want to know about eBay or the selling process.